Finally, we'll talk about the quickest way to dive in. Maybe not the most powerful, but you can still do a lot with it. And that's just by using a cloud, a web service, a web app, and maybe even one of these Chrome extensions that does much of the same functionality just using your Chrome browser. Now, I don't have any affiliation with any of these guys. I'm just trying to think about the way, from your point of view, if you've never programmed before, how do you get up and running? And I think these web apps are probably the easiest way. So I'll walk you through this first one, Sage Math. I went to their website, and I just did a, a normal sign up, just as easy as like username, email, confirmation kind of thing. And then it brought me to this interface. And here, I'm able to create new projects. And if I want to, I can do it on the cheap because you can actually create project without upgrades. Now, I know there's some computational limits and things like that on it, but that's free. And there are some upgrade options, but you don't need to take them. If you really just want to follow this course, save money and see if coding is for you, this is a great way to do it. And once you're in this project folder, all you need to do is create and specifically create a Jupyter notebook. It will ask you to name it. So name it Wombat. That's a required thing. Click Jupyter Notebook. But here we can go ahead and print hello dog, same as always. Well, only if I spell it right. Print hello dog. You know, there's some other options here too if that doesn't work for you, like the Google Cloud and Azure. Um, also, there's this cool Chrome extension, which worked pretty well for me too. Now, it's not exactly a Jupyter Notebook, but it was definitely made in a very similar way. So if you're using the Chrome browser, which is available for all the different operating systems, Mac, PC, and Linux, you can actually install this plugin. It's called Collaboratory Notebook. And when you click Launch, what it's going to do is it's going to bring you up this interface. I'm just going to save you a few minutes for the loading, but this is a file, this .ipynb file, that you would save inside of your Google Drive. So you have, um, you know, if you're using the Chrome operating system, this would be a great way to go. If you just have a Google email and you have a Google Drive account, you can actually keep all the files up here. And of course, they'll all stay in, you know, synced up and on the cloud and whatnot. And here we have the power to do the exact same thing. Don't know who wrote that hello world there, but we can just do Hello dog, and you can run it with pretty much the same shortcuts and all of that stuff. So a few different ways to get up and running with Python, but you know, even using this browser plugin, you should be able to follow 99% of this lesson just fine. So um, give me some feedback if you guys want in the forums of ways that you're getting online. You know, it's such an easy way to lose a beginner, and I would hate to see you guys just not get up and running with Python and not be able to get to all the fun, cool stuff because this beginning part was too hard. All right, I'll see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the Mnemonic Academy YouTube channel for daily uploads that will help you learn amazing concepts through effortless associations.